Hey y'all, Lisa here. I've decided to make some videos um, documenting my journey in transitioning from synthetic fiber clothing to organic fiber clothing. I was prompted to do this when I YouTube searched organic cotton bras reviews and there wasn't much out there and so <laughs> I ask myself, I says, Lisa, really? Do you want to, is that what you want to do? <laughs> Put yourself out there like that? And the answer is no, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I really believe in, in, uh, in this. And here's why. Um, a few years ago, I, it came to my attention that fabric holds frequencies and I'm a big uh, believer, understanding, it's not even believing, it's the science of frequencies and um, understanding, understanding that everything has a frequency. Our feelings, our food, our fabrics, everything, three Fs. <laughs> um, and so I started to study this and decided to do my own experiment on that. And I learned that different frequencies, I'm sorry, different fabrics have different frequencies and uh, flax linen and um, organic cotton is up there. Flax linen being actually a very healing fabric. So I think the frequency is 5,000 Hertz. I don't know, but either way, it's actually said to have healing properties. So when you wrap yourself in flax linen, it's actually quite like a medicinal bath in that it supports um, our natural health as well as helps us to recover from illness and just helps us to raise our overall uh, frequency health of our energy vehicle. And so I, I also learned that other fabrics <laughs> that you find everywhere is uh, are, are really damaging to the energy systems and the body and can actually um, harbor and cause illness within the body. So things like polyester, rayon, nylon, and things like that, and even just regular cotton. Not just the GMO cotton, but um, cotton that is unethically sourced and it doesn't take much thought to actually understand why that might be. Any degradation that is caused in the acquisition of something will carry that frequency of um, degradation with it. And so uh, just being mindful of how things are sourced and what I'm putting on my body. And I want to share that journey with you. And this is my first video. I'm going to try and keep them brief, but here I am in my first video telling you what I'm doing. And I don't know how helpful this will be for you, but if you have been on a search for um, high quality stuff, uh, you might be a little skeptical. I know I am. I'm looking all over the internet. If you put in a Google search, then suddenly you're just inundated by um, advertisements all over the place. And I don't know. I don't think I'm alone in that. <laughs> I have a hard time trusting companies, and unless I see, feel, experience it with my own mind, body, and intuition, um, I'm not fully subscribed. And so on that note, like and subscribe, and I'll just keep making these videos. And for the first product review, I'm going to take it easy on myself, because like I said, I will be reviewing clothing as well, right down to skivvies. So I've ordered um, some uh, flax linen bralettes and underwear even as well as some leggings and t-shirts and i'm going to review different companies and just kind of give you my honest feedback i am just little old me so nothing here has been it is sponsored so far and one of my favorite things to do is to give shout outs to um small businesses like at home creators and so some of the things um that you'll be seeing will be from Etsy. So handmade stuff as well, which is my favorite, which brings me to <laughs> my first thing. So I realized that my basket full of winter hats is full of these brain frying um, fabrics like polyester and rayon. And like, you know, we want to consider being warm when we're outside, right? 
and we can really err on the side of, well, I don't want to freeze, you know, it's too cold outside um, to justify getting some sort of hat. However, I also learned that wool holds a very uh, high healing frequency. And so, of course, um, ethically um, acquired by sheeps and things that are cared for um, in a humane way. And we also all know, it's no secret that um, humane, the label of humanely raised and whatever is, it's questionable. It's become very gray. So like I said, I'm looking very, very deep into the creators of the products that I'm trying. And this one right here, this hat is by Pasa. And I got this on Etsy. And I'm going to just put it on here. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. And this is a wool cap for women's. So if you go on uh, Etsy, you can find P-A-S-A, P-A-S-A. And they have wool, hand knit wool stuff. And they wrote me this little letter. It says, Lisa, thank you for purchasing this beautiful hand knitted hat with us. We hope you will love it and I do, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. We would really appreciate it if you could take a couple of minutes to write us a review in our Etsy page. Thank you, Pasa Products. I will do just that, and I'm doing just a little bit more. So this hat, I can't even understand how it was $20, but it is the Pasa wool cap in mustard yellow. $20 and uh, came out to $21.71. And so I'm going to give the good and the bad. First of all, this thing is so cute. This thing is so cute. I love that the label is little. It says Lumu. Whatever that means. Um, it's really, really cute. I like the fit. I like that it's slouchy. I like that it's not too tight on my head because I'm a highly sensitive person. And when things are squeezy or, or scratchy on my head, I just can't stand it. In like 45 seconds, I have a headache. So this is what it looks like. It's a little slouchy in the back. Love it, love it. Um, the only thing that I am concerned about, I'll be really honest, and I understand why they did that, is on the inside rim, there is this fleece-lined thing that goes around your ears. And... It says it's 100% polar fleece. I don't know what that is. If anybody else knows what polar fleece can be made of. But again, we're studying the frequency of these fabrics. Put it on one more time. I don't know, I think it's really, really cute. I mean, how many ways can you look at a hat on a person, right? It's got the wiggle. It's got uh, the wiggle effect a little bit. It does kind of stand up like a, well, you know, <laughs> like they do. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I like it. So if you're interested in shopping around and supporting and you're not concerned about a fleece lining, this was a really great purchase at a really great price point, and I really, really like it, and it's cute. More coming soon. Have a great day. Are we doing this? We're doing this. <sighs>